Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Let me just let my page load up. How is everybody doing? <clears throat> just give us a few minutes. I did kind of started like 30 seconds ahead of schedule. Boy, oh boy, you guys. What a night. What a night. I cannot believe the hellish heat that we had to experience yesterday. Oh my goodness. So, so crazy. So we'll be we'll be starting shortly. And for those of you guys that weren't here last night, but you're watching this today, I tried to go live yesterday in the evening. Um, I tried to do like a special night event, but it started thunder thunderstorming over here and lightning struck one of the light poles over here and shut off like two blocks worth of light. Um, so it was in total blackout for a couple hours. And then basically it happened right in the beginning of my live stream. So I didn't get that far. This is not what I created. I created this previously. This is what we're going to be working on today. <clears throat> I just brought these out to kind of uh, show you guys the shaped tags, if you will. And then these um, were two of the other ones that were added. This is the one that I painted yesterday. I painted this one with um, Heritage, which is a Deco Art Chalky Finish Paint. I used it as a substitute for my gesso because I have gesso coming on the way, but it's not here just yet. Um, and then this is the, the birdhouse that we're going to be turning into a birdhouse. And I, I painted this yesterday during the live. <laughs> so is, do I have autofocus on? Let me check real quick. Ooh, let's see. Let's hope that we don't have no autofocus on. So have on. I take autofocus off because sometimes it just distorts more than it does uh, fix. So uh, we're going to be working on these. These are the two tags that I, you know, that I created uh, previously. Again, with the whole uh, shape tag. This is the heart chakra. I absolutely love this, like the whole thing. I love it, love it, love it. I love the sentiments. I love the shape. I just love the whole representation of it. I think it's so like, oh my goodness. So. We're going to continue today with the other two tags, and I'm going to do my best to work on these simultaneously so that I can get both tags done um, before the live stream ends today. So wish me luck on that one. So this is what I created for this tag, and um, I'm just going to go over kind of what I spoke about yesterday real quick with you all for those that weren't here um, and for those that are going to be catching this full version. Thank God no rain today. So we should be okay. So this is gonna be um, like kits that I'm gonna be share, um, that I'm gonna be selling uh, in the store. This is like the first one that I kind of did. It's kind of like um, like a little demo version of it, I guess. Um, and I'm gonna be creating other styles so that you guys can add other layers to your um, to your tags. You know, just to create that dimension. Good morning, good morning, Cindy. So um, these are going to be like tag kits that I'm going to be um, creating, right? So it's going to have your tag base. It's going to have a tag topper. And then we're going to have some embellishments for this. For this particular set, I'm going to be including some branches, which are these right here. So you can basically put them wherever you like. You know, you can put them wherever you want. So we're going to be using that. So we're going to, you're going to get branches and you're going to get a tag topper and then you're going to get a tag and it's probably going to have like at least two sets, um, between two to three sets, depending uh, on how, you know, how big it is, so on and so forth. So that's what we're going to be working today. And then with the leftover, um, branches that I had, I thought it would be cool to kind of turn them into lightning. Cause I think it kind of, uh, the way they kind of branch out, I think it kind of fits. So let's see how it all kind of turns out. I have no idea. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Ada. 
Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday. I had the most miserable night yesterday. The most miserable night we all did. After I lost power in the middle of the live, well, the beginning of the live, not even the middle. We spent like, what, almost three hours with no power. Hot as heck up in here, let me tell you. Hot, hot, hot. And humid because of all the rain. And then we got live for like a half an hour. I was able to like give you guys a quick little update. I posted it real fast. I mean, I didn't know it wasn't going to have light for the rest of the evening, but I, I posted it up real quick that I was going to be rescheduling. Thankfully, you know, I got a, a little bit of a break and I was able to do that and let you guys know that I was going to be coming on live this morning. Right after I did that, the light went out again. You guys, the light didn't come back on till like four in the morning. Do you know that we were like taking turns here fanning each other? We were so hot and exhausted. We didn't even know what to do. It was like horrible. It was so, so horrible. And then I felt so bad because I'm like, damn, we're so privileged. And then I just felt bad. So like, uh, I know it was terrible. Listen, I, all I heard all night was babies crying, like, cause they were so hot. Like people complaining. I have heard people cursing in the middle of the night cause it was so irritated. It was so hot. Like it was just crazy. My house was literally crickets. Like you, you could drop something all the way across the other side and we would totally hear it like it was so quiet because nobody wanted to move <laughs> it was so hot we didn't even want to talk it was just like oh my god too much work so yeah <laughs> it was crazy i hope it doesn't happen no time soon and the power has gone out before but they've never like let it go off like that long like i don't know this is a beautiful street that i live in i mean compared to a lot of the other ones this is a, i live on the nicer side but the one down, you know, the one downfall for this for this area is that we have so many trees and we get a lot of lightning here. And unfortunately, every now and then it does cut the power off. It does shut the power off. But usually it comes back right away. I don't know what the heck happened yesterday. Oh my goodness! And it's crazy, you know. I have a I have a a huge tree right in front of my like my window here where I'm at right now. And it's scary, let me tell you. It's very, very scary. Okay, so yesterday I left off. I was about to do some collaging. So we're going to go ahead and pick up right where we left off. Hopefully that was um, where I was going with all of this. And um, I've got some collaging elements here. But real quick, let me show you guys um, how the canvas turned out. They were working on the other day. I still haven't finished it all the way. I still have to work a little bit more on her hands. Um, but this is kind of how she came out. I went ahead and fixed her nose and fixed her mouth because I was just not feeling it at all. But I think she came out super cool overall. And basically this is how it all kind of turned out. So I still have to do a little bit more on the hands. I'm not 100% satisfied with the hands. And I know it has a lot to do with the fact that they're not ordinary hands. So my brain is like not registering it. <laughs> my brain is like, something's wrong there. Those don't look normal. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm kind of fighting with that part of it right now. But other than that, I love everything. The hands, I'm having a little bit of a, of a you know, just a mental breakdown. With <laughs> but other than that, this is how the whole thing came out. And I think it came out really, really nice. Super dimensional, which I love. I just have to hang it up. And I haven't hung it up because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the hands yet. So. Still debating that one. If you follow me on social media, you got most of those pictures. Yeah, she does remind me of an avatar <laughs> as well. Uh, yes, I am gonna. I'm gonna be continuing to release tags. Like that's gonna be a staple in the store. Um, as long as I can keep coming up with different shapes um, and different, you know, design aspects to them, then I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep including them. For this month, I already included. I believe it was. I already included like four or six of them. I think it was like six of them because we have the heart chakra. We have these two, which I already worked on. So we have the heart chakra one, which is a larger one. This is um, my enchanted one. We have one that's shaped like an octopus. It's like an octofish. It's like half octopus, half fish. Then we have another one that is like, a, it's kind of more to me, it kind of lends itself more to like Halloween, which is why I haven't really done anything with that one yet. So I think I'm gonna do something um, special with that one uh, related to Halloween. Cause it's got the whole coffin body shape and then it's got like the arms coming out. So the mummy returns and like the, the mummy movies is like some of my favorite movies. Um, you know, not the last one so much, but like the first two were like awesome. And I love like 
Egyptian and I love mythology in general. I mean, you guys can tell by the way that I create that I love anything that's like, you know, like that kind of fantasy-ish, you know. So basically, I'm still going to definitely be, you know, creating more for sure, for sure. And this is just the evolution of this process. So now I'm, you know, deciding on adding, creating basically some, you know, like little toppers that you can go ahead and add, like little embellishments that you can add and then keep building on top of it just to give it more layers and give it more, you know, more structure, more stability as well. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to pull out my little bits and pieces. Um, we're going to be using two stencils, one that I'm going to be demoing today that's not available yet and one that's already available. I have here my little stack of papers. I was ripping papers literally yesterday when the light went out. I was like, what happened? The light went out. <laughs> okay. No problem, Ada. I was like, what happened? The light went out. No, I was so mad. Oh, my God. I was so mad. But it could always be worse. So, listen. As long as the power comes back, I can deal with it, right? Because I could always go live any other time. <laughs> All right. So let me go ahead and settle these out. Um, I did cut out some collage pieces. These I got from magazines, and I just backed them on chipboard and mod podge them. Um, and I did make copies of them so that I can have more because I only had a few of them. So we're going to be using that. I also did go ahead and um, do the same thing with these little birds, and I backed them on chipboard just to make them kind of stable and sturdy. I didn't copy those, though. I just used them as they were. And then we have some papers here. And I'm going to be um, demoing this stencil here so that I can see if it needs any adjustments before I add, you know, I add it to the release. So we're going to be working with this one. I'm thinking that for this big tag right here, I can kind of use the tree here and maybe some of the little grasses that I created. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it kind of goes. I definitely do want to add it, even if I just add it as, you know, um, like uh, sponged in the background or something. I just want to see kind of how it comes out. And then we're going to be using our, um, our pyramid one, which is already available at the store. Okay. And then I have this right here, which I pulled out of one of my little ephemera books that I have. I don't know where the heck I put it. Every time I use it, I always forget where I put it. Okay. I'll show it to you guys in another one. But it's basically a page from that book, and they come blank because they're for you to be able to cut apart. I took a picture of it already so that I can save it and I can use it again in another project. The new stencils are going to probably be released um, in about another week because I'm trying to finalize and just try to get a little bit more, um, you know, add a little bit more into it. I don't think it's going to be overly large. I don't think I'm going to make as quite as many as I did in the June release. Um, I think I'm going to, I think I'm only going to add a few of them for this one because I want to work on some other stuff. Um, and I don't want to, you know, I, I need to be able to balance it out. So I'm trying to add a few stencils and also work on some of the new toppers for the tags so that I can hopefully add those in as well. Um, Maybe I'll try to get them in when I do my stencil release because this is going to be a little bit different. This is not like, you know, like my chipboard regular designs. These are going to be toppers that are going to go specifically for the sizes um, that are available there. And uh, there, you can either buy the tags on their own. So the tags by themselves are obviously going to have more because, you know, they're by themselves. And then I can sell the kits on their own. I can sell these pieces on their own, like as, you know, its own little kits. So I can sell them on their own. Or I can sell them, you know, to come with the tag. So I'm trying to work all of that other stuff out as well. Let me put this over here because we're going to be working on this in a little bit. But I thought she looked really cool. And I think um, I might add her in here somehow. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And then I got some more little uh, pieces and stuff that we're going to be kind of working on. Where are my other collage elements? What did I do with them? All the way here. Okay. okay, so let's go ahead and get these um, papers glued down. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, Henry. Um, Henry, uh, Henry. Uh, Cindy, I was calling you while you're laughing. That's okay, Cindy. Like I said, roughly around every two weeks, I'm going to be adding new things to the store. <clears throat> Just because I don't want to overwhelm it too much, but as it stands right now, I have 60-something designs already there, 
which honestly speaking, I just started in May. I think that that is like, wow. <laughs> I've added a lot already and I don't want to overwhelm it too much. So I'm trying to kind of like control a little bit of how much I put out there because my brain is always on a go and I end up producing more than I can actually share at a given time. Okay, so for this one, I really like this right here, and I have here, where is it? It's a little oval that I had. Here it is. I have this one right here, which is the oval that comes out of the center of the um, of this part here. So I'm thinking that might actually look cute there because we're going to have other birds as well. So maybe I'll use that for the inside of that one. Okay. So let's see, you guys. Let's see how this all unfolds. Let's see how this whole thing unfolds. Hopefully I have enough lighting and enough space over here. Because I left such a mess on my desk yesterday. I couldn't even clean it because it was just like too dark. It was pitch black. We were living off of cell phone flashlights <laughs> and candles. You know, every Spanish home for the most part, well, most Spanish homes, I'm not going to say every Spanish home, most Spanish homes always have candles in their house. I'm one of those people. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be for that. Um, so in the meanwhile, I think I did want it to keep this kind of shabby-ish, so... I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of rip off uh, some of these edges. And kind of give it a rounded out type of shape. It was such a rough night. Like, I still have Angie sleeping in the background. She's sleeping, you guys. So, you hear somebody snoring. I didn't want to wake her up to tell her to go to her room. Because it was just so hot. I got the AC running still. <laughs> I was like, I shall never take you for granted, my air conditioner. <laughs> so we're going to do that and glue this down. <clears throat> and see how it all kind of goes. See how this all kind of turns out. Let's flip this over. And we're gonna do the collaging on both of them first, and then we'll see kind of how it all turns out. And then I have um, some we'll see how this all kind of goes. I don't know, I don't know. Um, doo -doo -doo. maybe some of this. Maybe I want the pink one to be a little bit more on the shabby side. Oh, you was working at ATCs last night. It's been a while since I've done ATCs. I actually wanted to create like shape ATCs, um, you know, smaller shapes, but they'll be like blanks, you know, like basically how the tags are just like blanks. I was thinking about that um a little while back. Just to kind of get me back into um, creating with them. Because like I said, it's been a while. And I do like working on ATCs. I think that they're super cute little canvases. I just, you know, you guys know that I have a, a thing with working in small spaces. <laughs> I'm a little bit like claustrophobic. Even when it comes to that. Even when it comes to the art. I don't like uh, working in too tiny of a space. My hands are so big. That's what it is, you guys. My hands are big. I got my daddy's hands. <laughs> So I, get, I feel clumsy when I'm working on, um, you know, big old canvases like that. I mean, small little canvases like that. Yes, yes, yes. I like the big stuff, yes. <laughs> just because it's easier for me. Um, my, my mind adds, you know, like there's just so many different layers that go through my head and I don't feel like I could get all the layers on something so small. 
And even if I could, I don't think you will be able to see them well enough because it's just not that big of a space. So like how many things can you really add? Um, but I have done them like super dimensional, but not as often, not as often. Okay. I am really trying to, let me see, let me see. Let's see how this all kind of unfolds. Right now, my hair is like a hot mess, you guys. I did something for my birthday. <laughs> I did something for my birthday, you guys. I did something to myself for my birthday. Literally on the same day. I shaved half of my hair, you guys. <laughs> I was telling my friend and she was like, why are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. I just needed a change. I, I, I don't know. I wanted to do something spontaneous. I feel like everything is so controlled right now. Um, I mean, we don't have much of a choice with the circumstances as they are. And I just needed to do something that kind of like broke the mold, like, you know, broke the norm, if you will. So that was my, that was my way of kind of breaking the norm. <laughs> Like my stencil princess, which one? The one that she's kind of drawing on the wall? Or are you asking me to make a stencil of a princess? Oh yes, like my stencil, yes, yes. Now I know what you mean. <laughs> exactly like that, exactly like that. I've, I've always wanted to do that to my hair. Honestly, ever I saw this um, Spanish soap opera, like, oh my God, I don't even know how many years ago. At this point in time, it has to be close to like 10 years since that thing came out. It's really old. Um, and there was this one girl there who was like really edgy. She was really like spunky. And she had that hairstyle. And ever since I saw her with it, I was like, I love that. And when I was younger, I used to always have my hair kind of uh, cut real low on the sides. That was just something that I, I, I hate the heat. So like um, I would always cut my hair like real short, especially when it comes time to summer. Like my hair is so, I wish I could show you, so, so long. I look like a whole lion right now, like a curly haired lion. It's all over the place, but at least I took half of it off. So it's not as bad. <laughs> it's not as bad. Yes, the shaved head one. That's exactly what I did. I did it. I did it. I did it. My husband was just looking at me like, you're really going to do this? And I said, watch me. <laughs> and I just like, Z -Z -Z. after I started, then I was like, dang, I took the wrong machine. Because I cut it so tight, it was so, so low, like it was skin tight almost. Um, and that's not really what I wanted. I wanted to have a little bit of hair there, you know, so I can at least put a, act like I'm doing something to it. I can't do nothing to it right now, but like, you know, butter it up. <laughs> that's all that I can do. Here are some results from a search. Huh? Why are you snooping? This Google thing is always listening to our conversations, I tell you guys. All up in the business. All up in the mix. So I'm just going to do this to this one, and then I'm going to start doing something similar to the other one. But I'm going to be honest with you. I love it, and I'm glad that I did it. Um, I don't know about how I'm glad I'm going to be in a couple months when it starts to grow out, and I look like a whole chia pet. But for right now, <laughs> you want to see? <laughs> everybody's asking me for this picture. Like, everybody's asking me. Everybody's asking me. Honestly, like, they're like, I want to see. I want to see. And I'm like, I'm going to show, I'm going to show, but I have to, you know, I got to get the whole situation together um, before I actually decide to do the whole photo shoot thing. <laughs> but everybody's like, I want to see, I want to see what it looks like. I love it. I'm going to be honest with you. I love it. Um, my daughter was not too happy because my hair is really long. Um, and for me to take half of that and just like, you know, do what I did. She was like, what the F mom? <laughs> she was like, what the heck? Oh my goodness. I needed like one of those regular um, hair cutting machines. And I used, I think it was something to trim the beard. <laughs> I'm such a crazy person, you guys. Like, like for real, I'm just like, whatever, let's just do this. And that was my little bit of spontaneous uh, adventure. I mean, not so spontaneous. I've been wanting to do it. I just didn't know how to break it to everybody, <laughs> to be honest with you. 
I didn't know how to break it to them and tell them like, um, you guys, um, your mom wants to go like kind of bald on one side. <laughs> And hubby's still trying to get used to it. He's like, I don't know. I like it, but... Uh. <laughs> so, I know he likes it, but on a scale from 1 to 10, he likes it like a 3. <laughs> Not the whole 10. My hair's too... Um, I've, I've put too much stuff into my hair. So, I couldn't really do that. Because usually you need, like, good, like, you know, untreated hair. Like, hair that doesn't have, like, dyes and stuff like that in it. And I'm I'm always doing something to my hair. So, like... That's the reason why I didn't do it now. But hopefully, if I could remain dye free um, for a while, then maybe I, when I, you know, when I give myself another trim, <laughs> then I can do it. Or maybe when this one grows out, since this one will be nice and virgin hair, once it grows out, then maybe then I can do it. Um, all right, so I'm gonna leave this like this so that I can do the other one, and this piece is gonna go here. So let's see, and I have some pieces here. This one, I don't want it to have any flowers, so we're not going to do the flowers for this one. I can put those up there. Don't need those. We're basically going to focus on checkers. Che oh, wait. I have one more sheet in here that I needed to add. We're going to use that and that and that. Listen, I've been dyeing my hair since I was like... I want to say 14 to 15. I've been dyeing my hair and bleaching my hair and doing all kinds of stuff to my hair. Because my hair by nature was very, it, it's multi-toned. So growing up, I had patches of blonde hair, like blonde hair, like streaks of blonde hair, brown hair, darker brown hair, like reddish toned hair. Like I just had so many different colors going on. And people will always make comments about my hair because it was always like so different, so many different colors. They thought that I was already dying it and I wasn't. That was just the way that my hair was. Um, and so I just got tired of it and I just decided to start dyeing it all one color. And it just kept going from there. Okay, I wanted to add a little bit of this one. I don't think I'm going to add it anymore. I'm going to just focus it maybe on this one. So I'm going to actually add this whole thing in there. I think that that will look nice. The whole, the whole spiel. That'll give me kind of like a center here. So we're just gonna do that and add this whole thing in here. But I've always been kind of spontaneous, and I've always loved short hair. But um, hubby doesn't really like short hair like that. So I, I met him in the happy medium. <laughs> That's what I'll say. I met you in the happy medium. Okay, half is long, half is not there. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It grows back. It grows back. I remember like, uh, oh, was it like three years ago? I went for a haircut at the salon. And I had like a, a knot in my hair that wouldn't come out because my hair is so super, super, super curly. Um, and the knot wouldn't come out. And the, the, the hairdresser was crying. <laughs> she was crying, you guys. She was literally crying because she was like, oh, my God, all these hairs. You know how hard it is for me to, like, you know, I guess grow her hair. Like, she had, like, really, really short hair. She was like, you know how hard it is for me to grow my hair and here you are cutting it out? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, walk around with a with this thing hanging there? Like, I can't do that. So, like, chop it off. It's okay. It's, it'll be all right. Like, I'll survive. You'll survive. <laughs> just cut it off. <laughs> And they couldn't understand for the life of them why I was just so willy-nilly with just cutting the thing off. I'm like, just cut it off. And my hair was longer then than it is now because she cut it. Um, she cut it real short. I got it shoulder length uh, at that time, or a little bit above my shoulders, actually. And my hair was really, really long uh, then because I, I don't really cut my hair much uh, in these past years, just every now and then. The only reason I cut it then is because I had it not. Yeah, they don't like the short hair. He has yet to touch it. <laughs> he has yet to touch the side of my head. Like, he doesn't want to touch it. He's like, no. It's like if I'm touching my hair. I'm like, no, it's not. You're touching my hair. <laughs> but he don't like it. He didn't like it at all. He didn't like it. I know he didn't like it, but he's, you know, he allows me to be, which is why I love him so much. He allows me to be who I am. Craziness and all. He 
he knows I'm a little eccentric. That's how you say it, eccentric. I think that's how you say it. My Spanish accent sometimes interferes with my English one. <laughs> okay. Let's do this side here. But I've always loved short hair. My mom too. My mom's always been a short hair kind of lady. Even though her hair grows super, super long and she has better hair than I do, actually. Her hair's like, when it grows out, it's like butter. It's just like falls right to the side. Not mine. Mine grows out and to the sides. <laughs> so it's like, oh my goodness. I have to use so much different stuff just to like tame it. And with yesterday and this whole heat thing, I was like, I should have done the other side. <laughs> That's what I was thinking to myself the whole night. I was like, I should have done the other side. But that's too much. I think that would be a little bit too extreme for me. I can deal with this. It's only half. I went to buy groceries yesterday at the Spanish store where we go. And the guy was like, what the hell, woman? What did you do to yourself? <laughs> and I think I love it just for the shock value of it all because it's something that is like so... Uh, you would never expect to see me out of all people like that because it's just not a hairstyle that I've used in so many years of having it short or shaved or anything like that. That nobody around here has already seen me like that. I didn't grow up where I live. I grew up in Manhattan and I live in another part of New York now. <sighs> but I think I'm going to have to tie it because I am sweating. But look, look at all this me. That's a lot of hair. That's a lot of hair. I think I saw myself. Let me just tie this thing up because I can't. That's a lot of hair, you guys. It's a lot of hair. And when it's curly, it's like so much. Like if it would have been, you know, like good dead hair, like I wouldn't, you know, it would have been fine. Because it's thinner, you know, it's not as heavy. It doesn't weigh you down. But when you have such curly, thick hair, forget about it. It's so heavy. It is so, so heavy. So now I have shaved the, the side of my head shaved. Um, and I can't wait for it to grow out a little bit so that I can start like designing on the side. I told them, I was like, I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use my head like a living canvas and I'm gonna start drawing on the side of my head and painting it. He was like, don't you dare. I'm not going out anywhere with you if you do that. <laughs> um, okay. Ada, if you gotta handle some stuff, don't worry, you know, I understand. It's all good, my friend. So I kind of framed it out a little bit. Let's see how this all goes. And then I'm going to start adding some stenciling over that. You might not get to see much of this after the fact, but um, it'll be there. I'm going to mod podge it first, the whole thing, so that I can go ahead and clean up some of the paints. Um, maybe from areas that I would like to expose and show. So I'm gonna mod podge this, and then we're gonna start working on um, some of the other stuff. So I'm trying to figure out like where I can add, because this one's gonna have this here. So this one, I just want, it's only gonna really show a little bit in certain places. As a matter of fact, let me go in here and grab another page out of my um, William Shakespeare book. And um, I think on this one, I'm going to go ahead and just add, I'm going to finish the top with this and maybe add whatever's left in the bottom. So let me do that just so that it's completely full and then I'll start adding some of the gessoing and I mean not gessoing, the stenciling and all of that stuff and we'll get that going. This one I think is pretty ready. I kind of like the way that it is already. Um, once I start adding maybe some other embellishments or some other dimensional chunks and stuff of little bits and pieces then um, I'll gesso those out and add those in. I get rid of all of the white edges. <laughs> you got a perm in the A's that still has your hair straight? Oh, the perm is to make your hair curly, right? 
That's what the perm does. I don't, I have no idea. The most that I've ever done to my hair, I think my mom once put like a little bit of relaxer on it. And I think she was just using me as a guinea pig, honestly, because she had to do somebody else's hair. So <laughs> I figured you're my child. If you end up bald, it's okay. But if she ends up bald, that's going to be a problem. So she used me as a guinea pig and she put it on my head. That thing was burning. Then she, I saw her. She was putting, um, what is it, vinegar? <laughs> she was putting vinegar all over my scalp so it doesn't burn. And blowing on it. I was like, what the hell did you do to me? <laughs> <laughs> I've never experienced that in my life. I think burns. And then a couple of years later, I experienced it again when I did my when I dyed my hair. Sometimes it dies. If you um if you dye your hair and you've washed it previously, or if you've washed it to dye it, that actually um creates lacerations in your scalp, and you end up burning. <laughs> you end up suffering. I'm just gonna do that and um. Uh, cover this up like this and then I'm gonna use the other piece on the bottom just so that I can kind of have this covered up a little bit okay and then I need my little blade over here let me just cut out this hole if I don't cut it out now then I'll be suffering with it later after I've added all the stuff on it Got that basically ready to go. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit more in the bottom, like right here. Take the whole thing right there. And you're probably not even gonna be able to see all of this uh, flower paper, so I just wanted to add it in there. But you might not even get to see it, to be honest with you, after I'm all done with it. Now that I'm kind of looking at it, it's going to fall right into the center. Um, so now I have a choice to make of rather if I'm going to use the circle, which I think I want to anyway. So I'm just going to mod podge all of this real quick. I'm going to seal it all down. So that it, once I add my paint to it and stuff like that, I can remove some of the paint um, by wiping it off. A little later goes a long way. Okay, so that's one. Let's go over here and mod podge this one as well. I know, but I never read instructions. You know how teenagers are. <laughs> never read instructions. Never ever read instructions um, when it comes to doing stuff like that. And what you, the only thing you want to read is mix this bottle with that bottle. I never bother with the rest. And then the timing, that was about it. But I never really looked at the fine print too much. Now I know better. Now I know better. But back then, when you're in the heat of the moment, <laughs> you don't pay any attention to the little details that are so, so important. And it's funny because I did the part on my hair myself and I'm surprised I got it straight because I was struggling to, to create that, that separation exactly of how much hair I wanted gone and how much you know, I wanted to keep and exactly where I wanted it to part at. That was not as easy as it looked. All right, so let me just quick blast this real quick um, with some air so I can set, and then we'll move on to the next part, which is going to be stenciling, um, stenciling and the rest of the other bits. Yes, I am one of those. <laughs> Can't you tell? Even with everything that I do still to this day, I'm very like, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's just do it. Let's just move forward. Let's just move forward. I'm always down for the cause, right? I'm always ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. 
I'm one of those people that likes to bungee jump. I like to sit in the first car of the roller coaster. That is totally me. I like to run through haunted houses. <laughs> uh, yeah, she kind of did. She kind of did. But in a way, like, I, I want to say that I've been blessed in that way because, like, I've always been allowed to be who I am. Always, always, always. The way that I express myself, the way that I am, I've always been allowed. Yes, I got myself in trouble, but she never told me, like, oh, you need to, like, not be like that, or I wish that you was different, or something like that, you know. I never got those, thankfully. My mom was, a, you know, she's a, she's a job all on her own. <laughs> so I think she kind of understood that she gave it to me in the first place. So, like, how are you going to complain? <laughs> and that's what I would tell her, too. Whenever she would, like, try to say something, like, my mom, it's your fault. She's like, how the hell is my fault? It's your fault, mom. Because if I inherited all the good, guess what? I also inherited <laughs> bad as well. So, like, hello. And it's funny because my kids tell me the same thing. No, mom, it's your fault. I'm like, what the hell? Was you eavesdropping? Like, what was you? Telecommuting? <laughs> Teleporting or however you say it? But, yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, we, we kind of flow with the times. I believe that to a certain extent I've gotten a lot. Well, I don't believe. I know for a fact that, um, like, once I became a mom, you know, you have to settle down. Like, everything changed. To a certain extent, everything changed as far as, like, you know, you have a sense of responsibility. You know, there's certain things now that you would not do because you have kids. You know, all of those things, um, you know, that changed me to a certain extent. But it changed me in a good way because now I ended up having a whole new set of skills which are like the mothering qualities, you know, the patience that I didn't have before I needed to, uh, you know, acquire that quickly because babies cry a lot. <laughs> so like, if you don't have patience, like you're going to lose your mind. Um, so I learned those things really, really fast. But to a certain extent, um, I definitely believe it made me a, a better person. It didn't change who I am at the core because I'm always going to be who I am, but Definitely helped me to evolve to a different level, you know, a more peaceful level, if you will, which I think is a good thing. Okay, so with this one, I can't do much stenciling other than maybe here. So I might do that. Oh no, here I want to do it here in the bottom. I'm gonna do it here in the bottom, I think, for this. For this here, I'm probably gonna decorate that with something, so I don't know. But I definitely want to add some texture here in the bottom. And then I'm going to use the same stencil on both sides. So I'm going to use this one here. I'm trying to figure out which way I kind of want to use it. I think I'm going to do it like that. And I'm going to use um, my sand paste to do this because I've been kind of playing with it. I want to get rid of some of these jars. I know. Listen, I'm what. Like, it's not even funny. I told my mom the, the other day, I was like, I've turned into you. And she was like, what are you talking about? Like, I've done the full, like, transformation, you know? Because I, I caught myself leaving my house with a shopping cart. Now, my mom, when she travels or wherever she goes, my mom always has a little shopping cart with her. You know, one of those things with wheels. <laughs> I literally used to make fun of her before because I was like, leave that thing there. Like, why do you got to always take that with you? Like, you're always, like, ready to shop. Like, leave the thing alone. And now... Guess who's walking out the house every day with a damn shopping cart? I feel like so old sometimes because I'm like here hauling my little cart. And she started laughing so hard when I told her. I was like, it's not funny. What the heck? <laughs> I'm over here hauling this damn shopping cart. And no matter what, every time I leave at home, I regret leaving at home. So I take it the next time I go out. <laughs> yeah, it's so old school. Oh, my God. It's just like, but it's amazing, though. It's amazing overall. It's amazing. It's funny because it's like, no matter what you do, everything you go through, you go through for a reason. You know, it's like everything that you experience in, in life has a purpose. No matter how mundane it is, it has a purpose. Everything has a purpose. And I guess for me, a lot of things that my mom did that I found so weird is because I didn't understand the purpose. I understand the purpose now. And guess what? I'm following suit. I'm like, yeah, mom, I got my shopping cart ready. Wheels on fleek. <laughs> Wheels on fleek.
And I told my daughter, so I was like, listen, don't be sparing up in the air, all right? Because you're going to be walking around with a shopping cart too in a few. <laughs> yes, we constantly grow. It's a constant evolution. Like, if we, you never really stop evolving. Even to your last breath, that's another way of evolving, believe it or not. It's all evolution. And everything that you experience in life, no matter how big, how small, it all it's all directly linked to one another. Everything has, you know, everything is interconnected. And to be honest with you, I think that the moment that I realized that is the moment that a lot of things changed for me because my state of mind changed. Venus is complaining. <laughs> my state of mind changed, um, which allowed me to adjust certain behaviors. And that's really what you want. You want to be aware of the things that you do that, you know, that can help you and the things that you do that hinder you so that you can evolve from those things, you know, acknowledge them, grow from them, all of that good stuff. Everything is the journey of becoming a happier you. That's the purpose for everything. The good, the bad, and the ugly. It's all to make a happier you. Yes. Facts. Totally facts. Because let me tell you, when I was little, I loved to draw. I loved to color. I loved to paint. You would have told me that in my adulthood, I would be doing this. I would have told you, nah. Because I always wanted to be a therapist. I wanted to be a psychologist. Like That was what I thought was my true calling was like doing therapy, doing psychology. I always wanted to do that, but things in life just didn't turn out that way. But now I get to still kind of do it, but through my art. So it still, it still does, you know, it still lends itself. It's all somehow under the same umbrella, right? It's all part of the same tree. And like even how I handle my kids and stuff like that, like I speak to them very raw and very real with a loving tone, obviously, you know, with the loving, you know, undertones, but very raw and very real. Because at the end of the day, if you sugarcoat it, you don't help it. That's how I see it. I don't want to scare the heck out of them, but I want them to see the reality and then allow them the, the ability to see for themselves and compare notes, you know. Venus is complaining. I'm going to have to go check on Venus because Angie's knocked out. Like I said, we didn't really sleep last night. So pardon me for a second, you guys. I got to go check on my baby. I got to go check on my baby. Talk to amongst yourselves. I shall be back. I hear you. I hear you.
Okay, my friends, I am back. <laughs> she just wants she wants to play. She wants to play. And my daughter's sleeping. So it's not playtime right now. So no, she's not being tortured, you guys. She's got food, she's got water, she's got toys. But she wants us. So she'll get that in a minute. She'll calm down the minute that she sees that we're busy. All right, let's see. Oh, you're a veterinarian. That's amazing, Cindy. Now I know who to hit up in case I ever have any questions. <laughs> yes, I do too. I do too. I totally get bored very easily. My daughter, Angelina, wants to be a veterinarian. She loves animals, all kinds. I love animals as well. I've had turtles. My turtles passed away last year. Last year? Yeah, my turtles passed away last year. I had them things forever. And I don't know what happened, but they both died at the same time. And they were in different tanks. So go figure. That's when I knew something bad was going to happen. Because right after that, the news of the COVID broke out. Well, actually, it wasn't actually. It was the beginning of this year, actually. Um, and they literally died, both of them. They're in different tanks, and they both died at the, the same day. I don't know what the heck. That was the weirdest thing. But that's, you know, that's how things happen sometimes. I've had turtles. We had a white rat before. Definitely had hamsters. I've had gerbils. I've had guinea pigs. Um, my mom had a chicken in the house in an apartment once. <laughs> <coughs> yes, they live a long time. I had that turtle since it was the size of a quarter. <coughs> I've had that, I had that, that turtle since it was the size of a quarter. My mom gave it to my son when he was four years old and he's 22 now okay and we've had it all this time but it, it didn't like i said from one day to the other so i don't know what happened because for them to both go at the same time and they were different ages it's just very it's just very strange um but we literally found them both face up i was like what the heck definitely have my share of cats definitely have my share of dogs as well They're just such amazing companions. They don't judge you. Well, sometimes they'll judge you, but you won't know it. <laughs> they don't judge you. They give you love no matter what. And they're just amazing. Pure fountains of joy, I say. All right, so let me put this to the side. Let me start painting my, um, my little topper here. Well, I got to keep drying that, but I want to keep moving it along. I want to use this piece of scrap here to kind of paint it. And I have pulled out some color here, which is what I'm going to use. And this color right here is called Delicate. And again, with the chalky, with the chalky paint, excuse me. Just clear all this cool off of here. I can use the same brush. Ah! Sandy, Sandy, we live very similar. We live very similar uh, uh, situations. <laughs> my mom too. And that thing will always be like screaming and my neighbor kept saying, come on, let's make some soup. <laughs> I've had um, Japanese kissing fish before as well. I've had all different kinds of stuff. Um, what I would love to really get next, um, I just don't know if I can do it here. I would love to get like a like a, a whole new aquarium. My mom was fascinated with fishes growing up. Well, you know, with us growing up, we always had like a huge, and I mean a huge fish tank. You guys, that thing was ginormous. It took up like half of a wall. And she would always be buying fishes to add into it. We used to have those that get stuck on the fish tank. They look like little sharks. They look like little hammerhead sharks, but they're not. I don't think they are anyway. Those filter cleaner thing fishes. <clears throat> We've had all kinds of fishes. She used to always have like all kinds of fishes. But if I get a, if I get a, a if I built a new aquarium, <clears throat> I want to have it filled up with like little seahorses. I don't even know if you can do that. I don't even know if you can put seahorses in an aquarium. I think you can. Oh, you do. 
Wow. Those wings must have been beautiful. See, everything has a purpose, even bugs. <laughs> even bugs. Now that's not gonna stay orange. Um, just so you guys know, I am gonna go over that with a lighter color. Um, with darker colors, actually, not lighter. Cause I want it to be kind of like a night scene. I think I wanna give it another coat. This paint is really, really thick. It's almost thick enough that I can use it like um, what you call it with a stencil, like it's super, super thick. Once this is dry, um, which chalky paint dries really fast, thankfully. Then I'll start adding some other um things to this and see, or we kind of go with it, because I'm not gonna leave them plain. Um, just as they are, like, that would probably hurt my heart, <laughs> leaving them play. So I got to add something to them. I got to add something to them, you guys. But I kind of like these, I'm going to be honest with you guys, for, for two things. Number one, it's something that's a little bit different. And number two, I kind of get to involve a little bit of my love for paper crafting, because I do love paper crafting. It's just that I wanted to, I didn't I was so all over the place, I'll be honest with you guys, and for a while I just felt like I was spiraling more and more and more, like out of control and out of sync with what my true passions, you know, with what I really, really wanted to do. So I felt like I needed to stop like all other activities and just focus on one and see kind of like what happens there. But I do love me some paper crafting every now and then. I do love uh, making albums and books and all of that stuff. I love decorating them. That's really what I don't like so much the assembly, but I love to decorate. Hello, hello, Vanessa. This is another one. This is my, my birthday sister over here. She also has a birthday that just passed. So happy birthday, Vanessa. Oh, slicky stick. Everybody got butterflies up in here. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's see. All right. So I kind of dried this out. Remember, this, this gets flat once you kind of put it all into, um, you know, once you start putting it all together. So let's see. Now is where the, the situation starts to get a little bit interesting. So I've painted this. Let me put this to the side. <laughs> I tell you, she complains like a hyena. <laughs> she has such a unique uh, uh, bark to her. She complains like a hyena. We love her so much, though. She is, like, so funny. Venus is hysterical. And she, like, knows what she does. Oh, my gosh, she's so smart. She's a Weimaraner. And I believe that she's mixed. Um, even though the person that sold her to us told us that she was, you know, pure breed. But I think that she's mixed. She's pure jet black. Pure, pure, pure jet black from head to toe. Um, but she's kind of got the face of like a pit bull, so she's beautiful. No, she's um, she's a Weimaraner. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but hopefully you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, love. She sounds small, but she's not. When she stretches, she goes all the way up to my head. Like she's a long. Big old dog. She just whimp she whisp she whimpers because she knows that we don't like a lot of noise here. So when she does it, she hurt when it's for us, like this is the thing, when it's for us, she'll she'll complain low. But when it's like a stranger's by the door or something, then you will hear her for miles and miles and miles. But when she's trying to like, you know, harass us basically, then she does it in the lowest, cutest little voice. But for everything else, it's like crazy. And everybody that comes to my house has to say hello to her. You just have to. She has to smell you 
and you have to say hello to her because if not, you will not be able to get a word in edgewise until you do. She has to make sure that you are family approved and that you are family safe. All right, so like I said, I wanted this to be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna start kind of layering in some legacy, which is a blue. And we're gonna see how this is all gonna go. And then this, I'm gonna keep it on the shabbier side. So I'm gonna put this to the side so I don't get it too dirty. Um, but I'm gonna start kind of adding in just some colors here and there. Adding some colors in here and there. And this is just another layer. Like I said, I, I use the orange just um, because I hadn't used it. And I'm like, it's just sitting there. It's going to go bad. And I use it for um, like a gesso anyways. So I figured, let me give it that coat first. And then we'll start working on everything else. After. And we'll just see how it all kind of unfolds. Because I don't pre-plan these projects, you guys, for the most part. <clears throat> it's hard for me to sit there and kind of put the whole layout together and say, okay, this is perfect. Because by the time that I come back here and sit again and do it, I forgot. <laughs> and if I, if I take a picture, I forget to take the picture out. So, like, I've done that, and it just it ends up the same. So, I'm just like, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, let me use, um, I'm going to use a little bit of this one. This is a gray, and this is all chalky paints that I'm using right now. This is called um, Vintage. <laughs> I just laugh. I laugh. She's so loving, though. She's amazing, actually. She has a few little pet peeve problems, but other than that, and that's just because she's spoiled, and her being spoiled is our fault, not her fault. We spoiled her. I've never been one to like to hear anybody crying. It doesn't matter if it's a human or an animal. So as soon as she starts complaining, we usually come to her. We usually come to her aid and her rescue, and that's why she does it. So we kind of have to allow her to self-soothe. You know, we have to fuckerize her. <laughs> Anybody see me the fuckers? <laughs> so we gotta kind of let her go through that. She's gotta get fuckerized. <laughs> so, um, and that's F O, okay? F O, you guys, F O. Um, so we're kind of, you know, giving her the Ferber method. <laughs> see, she comes out after a while. I don't know where we're going, but I think I like it. So let's see how it all ends up. She comes out after a while. She got everything she needs. That's for sure. See, I'm kind of like that. Right? Oh, wow. Must be beautiful. See, we had um, a dog previous to this one, but she passed away. They sold her to us with supposedly a clean bill of health, but she wasn't. She wasn't. She wasn't. I think I just got scammed, honestly. Um, and we loved her so, so much, but she's no longer here with us. Um, Thing, yeah, I don't like to talk about it too, too much. So we got Venus afterwards. Everybody told me, you got to wait, you got to wait. I'm like, nah, I can't. I can't do it. I couldn't do it. I had to get a replacement. Quicker, you know, rather than later. And not a replacement, that's the wrong word to say. But I felt like I needed to rescue another one. Because to a certain extent, I know I rescued that dog. Because she was, she looked crazy when we got her. And that should have been the first red flag. And she got better under our care, but some things you just can't. 
you know, you can't stop it, you can't change. But as I say, things happen for a reason because now we have Venus and she is such a joy. She really, really is. I absolutely love, love, love me some Venus. And I've been wanting to give her a channel, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know. She's a wild one. And I like to let dogs be, but I know that they have to have a certain level of discipline. She knows commands. She knows how to sit. She knows how to, you know, stand. She knows how to lay down. Um, she'll fetch. She'll do all those things, but then she don't want to give you the stuff. So she'll fetch it. And she'll bring it and she'll drop it right in front of you and snatch it right back up. <laughs> like, she'll just be trying to have fun with us. On the craft table today, we have two of uh, the tags that I've added to the store. And I've designed some new toppers that are going to go over some of these tags. And this is the first one that I've designed. It's going to be to make this tag into like a birdhouse. But again, this tag lends itself to be like a traditional house, a school, you know, any other kind of house like structure you can totally use it for whatever you like um but i created this little topper here to kind of give it more of the look of um being an actual uh birdhouse so that's what we're gonna do and then with this one um some of the branches that i'm using on this one i'm also gonna be turning them into lightning on this one so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna grab some of this black um chalky paint here and i'm gonna mix a little bit of that with a little bit of the glue and just kind of go into it a little bit more with some of that blue now these tag toppers um that i'm creating those are going to be added later on because i, I want to make at least two or three more styles so that you guys can choose you know alternate them or choose from them i don't think i want to add it with that i think i want to add it with a sponge let's add it with a sponge Let's try to make it look a little bit real. Remember, we're gonna have some kind of lightning happening here. So this one's gonna have this is gonna be the lightning, uh the lightning one. So we just wanna kind of um so that. So I'm just gonna do this and kind of dab this in there create kind of like this stormy kind of sky if I can. Let me grab some of this gray tool. A little bit there. And let me daub this. Let me daub this real quick. And just kind of create um, some little lighter areas. So you guys know I can talk for days, right? <laughs> I can talk for days. So I'm just going to do that and just kind of add a little bit of that in there. And we need um, something or the other here. So what am I going to use? What am I going to use? See, this is going to be a branch. You could also kind of use it like a tree, like a really skinny tree. Um, and then I'm thinking I want to add this kind of like in here. So let me see how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and add it in just to kind of see what I'm going to do with it. And I'm debating on whether I want to add it. Um, I think I do want to go with my face just to give it that dimension. So let's see. Here goes nothing, you guys. Here goes nothing. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. So I'm testing this stencil out um, to see if like, it needs anything for me to fix. Um, usually that's what I do. I'll do like uh, little projects here and there, demoing some of the, the designs that I'm creating. Let me show you that tree is straight. Venus, stop complaining, Venus. And my son is over there, so she's not by herself. Not that she's a toddler or anything, but that's kind of how we treat her. And that's probably why she's complaining. That's the wrong job. That's probably why she's always complaining, because again, we spoil her. 
We were so affected by what happened with our last dog that she got like uber spoiled from the gate. Because you never know the treatment that they get where they're coming from. So like I always try to like overwhelm them with so much love. Because you never know how, you know, affection deficient they are. I hope the stand thing is not too runny. It's kind of runny. It's kind of runny for being like a sand paste. I was, I would have expected this to be a little bit thicker. <laughs> I just swear she's talking to me like in her own little language. She's like cursing me out. Like, how dare you pass through here and not engage? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, all right. I mean, it got a little, like I said, the, the paste itself is kind of loose, it's kind of wet. So it's like, eh, but it does the job. And I think we shall see now. It's 11 11, you guys. If you believe in it, make a wish. Yes, I can't help it. Who's going to spoil them if I go? Like, <laughs> I have to spoil him because who else is going to do it? And that's why she's the way she is. And she spends a lot of her time in a playpen. A really, you know, one of those really large, like, out there playpens. That's what we set up for her as her own little, like, room. She knows, like, it's time to go to your room now. <laughs> but she be trying not to go in, let me tell you. Should be trying not to go in. What the heck? Okay. My friends, come on, I'm live. <laughs> Oh, see, we wouldn't. We, um, it's kind of like the signs from an angel. I mean, that's what they say. It's like make a wish, eleven, eleven. Sometimes you know, you just put things into the universe. You never know what comes back. So it's always good when you get a little window to like throw the good vibes out there. You know. I don't think we're gonna be doing too much of this drying stuff today. Um, because I'm only gonna do stenciling here and I already did the other stenciling. But it's always like you know, like you'll notice certain numbers, like you'll notice you'll notice a certain pattern of numbers repeatedly. Um, sometimes if you Google what those numbers represent, you'll be surprised that it's like some kind of angel message or just like a guardian, just letting you know that he's got your back or she's got your back. Things like that. I like to use them for positive affirmations, you know. Because again, I'm one of those people that believe that everything is interconnected. So as above, down below type of thing. Okay. Yeah, it's somewhat dry. So let's start working on the other one. But this is kind of how the tree is going to look. Obviously, it's not going to look so splotchy. It's splotchy because of the, the wet. Um, it's very wet. You can see how, like, you know, very shiny it is. It's because it's very loose. Um, so I did get, like, some under it. Kind of went under a little bit. You would definitely have to use it with, like, a thicker um, paste. Or, like, a regular paste. It's not so loose. That one's kind of loose. Um, it's got a nice texture, though, because of sand. But it's kind of loose. Okay. So now to play with this one a little bit. Let me get my sponge. I need um we gotta do some no the lightning's for the other one. And that's for the other one. We have some birds here. Where are my birds? Where are my birds? My birds were here. No, they're not here. I found them. We're gonna be using these little birds that I cut out from a magazine and back them on chipboard. And I'm thinking that one of them is gonna go on top of the branch down here, and then the other one I'm gonna put like right over here. So, 
I did have a circle over here somewhere. The little oval with the piece of the green paper. What the heck did I do with it? What did I do with it? Oh, it's right here. Well, the paper's here. Where's my oval? Okay. My oval's right here. I'm going to go ahead and glue this in so we can kind of uh, work on this tag and finish this one up real quickly. Um, where is my... She asked the question at the same time as it hit the time, right? See, there are no coincidences in life, you guys. There's no such thing as an accident. At least in my mind, I think everything is linked. So everything happens for a reason. We're all like little train tracks chugging along, you know? Not like train tracks, the, the, the little carts, the train carts, all attached, one attached to the next cart. Before it gets too thicky, make sure my birdie that I want to capture is in there. Just this one right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this out. I was so ready yesterday. I was like, my mind was full of ideas. After all that heat <laughs> experience last night, those thoughts went out the window. But I knew I had to finish it because I, I already had it started. Okay, so this right here, I'm going to go ahead and add, where is it, where is it, where is it? I saw you, but now I don't see you. Where'd you go? Where did you go? Oh, it's right here. I'm going to add a little bit of this um, clear ice comic glitter. It's like an iridescent kind of glitter. I'm going to add that to the surrounding, like to the whole area edge of this. And I'm going to add it to the to the whole space here. So I'm going to add it like all around, um, I think, the outside of this, just so that it can kind of shimmer and shine all the way around. Um, Shimmer and shine. We want some shimmer and shine. I say. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. So with this Galaxy Glitter Paint, you cannot just brush it because you're going to spread the glitter out from here to Kingdom Come. So what you want to do is you want to kind of splotch it down so that you have the most concentrated amount of the glitter still remaining there. So this is kind of like what I'm going to do. And I'm actually going to try to extend that as much as I can upward, actually. Um, and add a little bit of this in a few different little places. So this is not going to be too overly done uh, of a tag. I do have some elements there that I can totally incorporate and use. But because I'm working on two of them at the same time, I'm not going to get too overly detailed um, with their process. This is just to kind of give you guys ideas of how you can utilize some of the products that I have in the store. Uh, more so than anything else. Okay, and then to this one, I'm going to just kind of run it through whatever I have there. Yes, I go through the same thing. See, I know I'm always being watched over. I, I pick up on those signs all the time. And honestly, I always say it. I feel like I have, you know, like such a strong connection with them because every time that I'm in need of something or, you know, I'm going through a situation with myself or my son or something, like I just always feel like they're there. And things always seem to get better or at least find some kind of a solution which is all that you can really ask for are solutions, right? And things just seem to kind of work out. So 
So my faith is super, super, super strong. Because yes, you can believe in God and believe in other things as well. Because everything is all under one umbrella. At least that's how I see it. I know a lot of people would, think, you know, would not necessarily agree with me. I'm not going against what anybody else believes or anything like that. I just encompass it all, you know? I accept it all. See, there you go. Those are definitely messages um, and people should take them as such, you know? It's, it's all positive. It won't cause you no harm. I gotta do some distress and some stuff up in here. Let's see. What do I have here? Oh, that one's finished. My chunky face is finished. It's finished. Um, do I want to use my finger? No, I do not. This is textures, which is a thicker, kind of like acrylic paint. I'm just gonna kind of splotch that on there. And see what happens. I don't want to add too much because this takes a long time to dry, which is why I didn't use it to stencil um, the tree with, which this probably would have been a really good alternative uh, to, to do that with, but I didn't uh, choose it. So I'm just going to kind of go ahead and do that. Just, just kind of blend in the background a little bit, make it all one, if you will. And then to this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray some colors. Let's see what we got. Let's spray some Seth after in here. And then let's spray some white of the Dina Wakely. Let's get some pink. This is really right for pink. So, to that, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more of that one. Try that. The other one is grunge. So shabby she can kind of grungy on the other one. And this is why it's a little bit difficult for me because I literally have to stand on both sides of the street. <laughs> I have to stand on Grunge Street and Shabby Street at the same time. Sip of coffee. This is kind of like how it's coming out. You can still see a little bit of that shimmer and that shine in there, but not too much. Now let's go ahead and work. See how it's going to start kind of building together. Uh, let's go ahead and finish doing this one right here. And to this one right here, what I think I want to do, I think I want to do some stamping on it. But before I do some stamping on it, I think I want to add some sprays on it as well. Um, hmm. The question is, what kind of spray do I want to use? Maybe the blue one with some of the white and the pink, maybe.
um, do, 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 do. So I'm going to add some of this white first. <laughs> she that messed up her stress ball too. She ate her whole stress ball up. It took her a long time. Oddly enough, I found the Nerf balls, like the Nerf um, footballs, um, are really good with dogs. Like this one usually destroys everything like in two seconds. You know, anything that's like that, like a ball, like she'll play with it, play with it, so she can play with it no more. But with... um. This is so bright. I don't think I'm going to use that one. I think I'm going to go in and maybe with some chalky finish and just add a little bit of that here and there. So I'm going to just maybe not through there. <laughs> maybe not through there. Maybe I'll just use this over here. For my birdies. See, I'm spraying my birdies. Like, I'm so all over the place. Yeah, I like that. So let's go ahead and get more. That's the good thing. The bad thing about um, these chalky paints is that they, they are thicker. They do dry out uh, quick. But they are really good. I love them. I love the chalky uh, finished paints. I don't want it to totally blend into the background because I'm going to lose the whole shape of it. So, good morning, good morning, Julia. Good morning. We're working on two tags today, a shabby tag and a grungy tag. Um, I'm demoing out my tag toppers, which I think is what I'm going to call them. Look how cool that would look as a stencil, too. Like, you... Listen, it's already got the back, now I got the front. Hmm. Hey, you never know. Okay, so let me see. What color do I want to... Um, I don't know, I don't know. Where's my spray? Right here. I just want to do that because I'm going to splash a little bit of color onto them. And splash a little bit of the white. When it comes to shabby chic, you want to stay away from dark colors. So no browns, no blacks, you know. Um, anything that's pastel will work for shabby. Just in case you were wondering or you didn't know, maybe you did. But for those of you that don't, um, that's how you keep something shabby is you don't add anything dark. You don't implement anything dark into it. She has one. She has the, she has the Kong. We have to get her more. But when it comes to the ball, um, you know, sometimes you just want something quicker. You, you're going through a store and you're like, oh, you know, maybe this ball, I can get it for my dog. And we, you know, whenever we would, we, go, we would go shopping, I would always try to like pick something up for her because she expects something every time we come through the door, you know? She's like a whole kid, I'm telling you guys. She's a whole kid. She's like a toddler. So she expects something when you come through the door. And she's got to check your bags. She got to make sure that, you know, she got to check your bags. She's like the, the mall inspector. Um, so, I, you know, I got into the habit of bringing her, like, you know, little balls here and there, wherever I will find them. But it just so happened that sometimes they just wasn't, they didn't last very long. Like, literally, they would last only hours. I bought her this red Nerf ball, and that thing has lasted, honestly, like, almost a year. Until now that she finally broke through it and... And usually when they're, they're when they're teething, they're so destructive, right? Because they're going through the teeth and they're constantly um, tearing stuff up. But I don't know. That ball so far has worked out. And I got to buy like five more of those just to have them there. <laughs> Not here. My bathroom is all the way on the other side of town. <laughs> it's all the way on the other side of the house. People have told me that before. I don't know what it is. I got the air conditioner running. My apartment is really long, so I'm in one I'm in one side of the house. The bathroom is all the way on the other. Oh, I, I like that, right, you guys? I think that that works. 
So I think actually to kind of complete this whole thing, what I'm going to do now, since I kind of like how that looks, is I'm going to grab the spray and I'm going to dab the edges with the blue. I think that that'll look nice. Oh, just put it right there. I think that'll look nice. So I'm just going to kind of dab um, the edges with blue a little bit. Kind of create um, that shadow effect, but without having to use a dark color. On that. Okay, so I kind of like that. Quick little blast of air. Okay. All right, so that's what we have so far. Um, I'm wondering if I should stamp it, but I think it's got so much going on. And then we have this. We have this. It's going to go in the center. This I'm going to distress with some ink, with some blue ink. I just have to find it. Found it. I try to keep myself as organized as I possibly can, even though you guys see a mess because there's always a mess going on, but I do try to keep myself as organized as I can because I'm always like forgetting where I put stuff like that. I'm phenomenal with doing that. So I'm just going to do this to the birdies. I'm going to do this to the birdies. Just kind of distress the edges real quick. I like that. I like that a lot. And what I might do is after I've set it in, after I've set it in place, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this where this kind of goes real quick. Okay. So that's what I might have um, inadvertently. <laughs> I do that often. Um, put the image on the wrong side of the thing. Remember, you guys, I hand draw this, so when I hand draw them, sometimes my um, Measurements are not precise. So, like, you can mirror it and it'll fit perfectly on both sides, is basically what I'm trying to say. Sometimes um, that doesn't necessarily work. How cool would that look? Like, honestly, you guys, just a quick little thing. If you're doing like something shabby chic, right? You can literally um, feed uh, lace, do the lace trim here, have the lace trim poking out through that side. And then you could put your picture in the center and you'll have it surrounded with lace. I, I think that would look so cool. And you could glue it on the outside. You can glue it on the inside. Um, different ways that you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and add this in here. And let me try to put this over real quick again so that I can kind of get the gauge. And it's good. Sure, and my tag is not straight to the side before that thing glues down. It's sticking because of the mediums. Okay, that should be fine. That should be fine right there. Um, give or take. Give or take. Uh oh, that's it. Stop. Is it setting? It's setting. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave it there. Right. I'm gonna have to leave it there. All right. So now let's add some glue to this and start the assembly process. Yes, you're not lying. <laughs> I could add a little bit more here and there. Like I could collage a little bit more back on just to kind of bring it back out. 
maybe I can add it. Um, I know what I'll do. I still have the hearts that I punched out, so maybe I can add some of the pretty paper on the hearts themselves and then just glue the hearts in place or add the hearts somewhere else. And you're going to get it with the little hearts and you're going to get the oval. Um, usually the chipboard pieces that I don't send are the ones that are too intricate because there's, sometimes it's a pain in the butt for me to get it out. I mean, that's just the honest truth about it. Um, sometimes they're just so difficult to release um, that they'll I'll end up having to, you know, tear them up sometimes just to get the pieces out. And I don't want you guys struggling at home saying, Carmen, you sent me something that was defective. <laughs> so I clean it up before I send it to you, you know. I clean them up as much as I can. I was um, sending them to you with the chipboards and stuff, but I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I think moving forward, I'm going to do my best to clean them up and send them to you guys clean already. If you want the bits, just tell me that you want the bits and then I'll make a mental note not to remove them. But if you don't say nothing, I'm going to remove them and send them to you clean and ready to use. Okay, let me stand up for this part over here. Yeah, some people like them like I like them, but not everybody does. The majority of consumers don't like those little bits and pieces. But for me, I like it because sometimes I want to mask an area or I can use them and create a whole different design just by scattering them here, scattering them in there, spraying over them, you know, doing all different types of stuff. It's crooked. <laughs> it's crooked, but I'm not going to worry about that too much, you guys, because... It's, I glued it into perfectly. <laughs> I glued it into perfectly. Can you guys see well? Is it feeding nicely through you guys through, through your ends over there? Okay. So now we're going to work on these branches, my friends. We're going to work on these branches. And the branches, I'm going to paint them, I think, a gray. I think I'm going to use that gray because it's kind of light. It's not dark. So you can get away with like a light, light gray, um, I think. I think that this color will kind of go well with that so we're gonna do that i'm gonna kind of um sponge them up but i like it so far and then we're gonna put the little birdies one's gonna go on this little branch over here so my little birdies are gonna be like my little pop of color and then we're gonna have the other little birdie kind of like here or maybe i'm um, sitting on top of where the heart is or something i don't know um and then i'm gonna get that and add some papers in there and we'll see we'll see how it all goes i really like how it's coming out though so far so good so far so good my little birdie got a little thing on it, but I could probably wipe that off because I did go ahead and uh, mod podge them. So usually when you mod podge them, you're able to go ahead and clean them. But look at this already. Like this paper is like looking so nice already. So much texture is happening on there. All right. So let me go ahead and... Oh, okay. Separation, separation, separation. I need some actual paint. Not just the primer, okay? So I'm going to just dab this in. And I'm probably going to add, I'm going to glitterize them just to kind of give them a little bit more play. Again, I don't want them to be dark. On a regular circumstance, I probably would have really gone lifelike with these and just painted them with the browns and the darks and all of that and added a whole bunch of, like, patterns and little markings here and there to make them look like real tree branches. But for the purpose of this uh, shabby chic tag, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do this, and then I'm going to add some glitter paints over this and make them pop that way. And this is my version of a branch. <laughs> I know it might not be like, you know, the most normal looking branch, but when you rip a branch off of a tree, it looks crazy. <laughs> so, like, it is kind of a normal looking branch, even though it does not look aesthetically normal. It is actually very normal for trees to come off and have little right angles and all of that stuff. Branches um, do all types of different things. And I do plan on having more, you know, creating other styles and stuff like that. But little by little, you guys, I, I think I try to run, you know, obviously once you, you start something like this, you, you go at everything kind of like in this running pace um, and you're trying to like do so much in a small amount of time, but 
God has paced me over and over and over again. So I'm just going to take my time and do things right so that I don't have to do them twice. <laughs> right? That's what they say. Try to do it right. Measure. What is it? Measure twice, cut once. So I'm trying to do stuff like that now. And I'm always revisiting my old designs to see if those old designs inspire new designs. Um, and that's basically what happened with the tags. And I knew I wanted to play with these tags, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I'm looking at that house and I'm like, you know what? I want to make it into a birdhouse, but I didn't want to go through the struggle and the time consumption of, you know, making all the little pieces right then and there, like all the little strips of cardboard and this and that. Um, so I decided to kind of go in and design one real quick. So this is what we're going to do. And then to this, I'm going to go ahead and um, pull out. I'm going to see which kind of glitter paint I have that kind of matches this nicely. Something that has maybe some pink in it. I think I have something called Pink Cosmos, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that would actually work lovely in this. Um, let's see if I find it. I need a wall of paint. Like I need to create a structure that I can put all my bottles of paint on the wall so that I'm not going crazy every time looking um, through each and all these different little bottles of paint. In here somewhere. That's the silver. Oh, I might use the silver for the lightning. Um, again, the other one is going to be a little bit more grunge. And I just thought it too, which is the Funny part. That's not the pink one. I just saw it. So where are you? I just saw you. Okay, let me just put these stems in here, guys. Give me a second. As I look for I look for it. This is it. That's the red one. I don't want red. Red is too dark. We want pink or light. And if I don't find it, I'm just gonna wing it with what I have already there. Yeah. I could have sworn I pulled it up. Let me see. Because I'm just like all over the place, putting stuff everywhere. And I always try to like label them so that I can find them easier by looking at the top. Okay, that's not going to work. I don't find it. So. I mean, I must have took it out and moved it, trying to do myself a favor, and it backfired. <laughs> so I'm going to use the same thing that I guess, the clear comet, the clear ice comet on this one. So let me put these down to the back. It's not really what I was hoping for. But oh well. Okay, so Ra, so Ra. Oh, I need that. I need that in my life. I need that in my life, you guys. You don't understand how much paint I have. Like, I have so much paint. Like, it's ridiculous. What I did is that I divided them, and I, I, I put the rest of them in a box, and I, you know, I keep that kind of put away, and I took... The ones that I know that I will most likely use, I took those out first so that I can use those up. And then the other ones, I'm going to use them, I guess, as I start replacing these and running out of these, and I'll start using those. So, again, we have to kind of splash this on so that um, it does, you don't end up spreading out all of the glitter everywhere. I mean, if that's what you're looking to do, then that's fine. But I like it to have that high saturation, high saturation of the glitter. So in order to do that with these glitter paints, you do kind of have to splash them on and then move them around, you know, if you need to. I think this is going to look nice. I think this is going to look really nice. See, when you brush them, what you do is you sweep the, the, glitter, the glitter off, actually. You separate them. But by just kind of dabbing them on, then you allow it to stay in like little clusters of glitter. 
which is really what you want, um, you know, when you're applying this. So that's one. And now let's do the other one. And I try to have everything close to me, like under my desk, I have two um, two of those three drawer uh, little bins, those little cabinet things. And then in the center, I have like this little makeshift uh, thing that I made so that I can keep adding more stuff. I have like um, different boxes under here that I've set up where I've organized, like I'll show you. Like this is my uh, distress inks and my metallic paints and I, and I keep them in a box like this and I have like two or three of these they have different things um, under my desk, like directly right under here, that I can just go under and pull it out and use it as I need to. Um, so anytime that I find like those boxes like that, I try, I try to use them up, but there's only but so many things you can fit in those boxes and there's only but so many places you can place those boxes at. So, ah, uh, say la vie. <laughs> But um, I, I try, but even with as much organization, you end up having just so much stuff that you don't, you can't literally keep track of it all. Like, it's just really hard. And I don't want to have to open up a manual every time I want to craft. <laughs> like, I don't need a map, you know. But that might not be a bad idea, to be honest with you. Create, like, a little a map and just put it on the wall. Like, this is here, this is here, this is here. And another thing I try to do is always keep things in the same place. So, like, if I have a drawer for paints, then everything that's paint-related goes in that drawer. And I try to keep it that way. But, again, that doesn't always work either. So, okay. So, let's dry these babies up. And I think these are all really nice. Um, I don't know if you guys can see them very well. I hope soon I'll be able to do that. Um, I'm going to be making some changes. Again, we've been going through like a whole, this year, 2020, honestly, you know, the whole aspect of the whole 2020 and being able to see things clearly, we've been going through a lot of changes. Um, personal, you know, as a family, all of that. My, my oldest daughter is engaged to be married. She's going to be moving out soon. Um, and so... We're going to, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have more room. Once I get that extra room, then I'm going to be creating my craft room. Right now, my bedroom is my craft room, which is why I don't give you guys craft room tours. But hopefully um, soon, and not too soon, you know, I don't want to rush her out of here. But when she does um, get ready to go, which is going to be within the next month or so, um, then we'll be able to do that. And then I told Sasson, I was like, I'll give you one side and then I'll have my side. That way we can get all this crafty stuff out of our room. And then we can do it that way. So look, this is how they kind of look. Super shimmery. So we're going to go ahead and bring this down. And I do hope that I have time to finish the other side. This is not all the way dry. No, it's not all the way dry. It's not all the way dry, because I am trying to finish them both, but I have time. Once I'm able to do that, then I should hopefully be able to um, also start making more videos. I know that I go live a lot, um, and I don't upload videos, basically. I haven't been able to do that in a, in a little bit, because I have to upgrade my whole situation when it comes to my computer. And I've been busy upgrading my children first. So I've got them both upgraded at this point in time. So now it's my turn. I'm next. <laughs> I'm next in line. You guys know that computer stuff costs a lot of money when you have to do multiple computers in the household. Uh, it can be a quite a pretty penny. So both of my kids got their computer situation upgraded. Um, my daughter has her computer hooked up to a TV that's bigger than the TV in our room. My son as well. So now I just have to focus on mine, which is the next one up. Once I can do that, then I'll be I'll go back to recording videos and doing like little DIYs and just doing shorter videos. Um, and we'll still be able to enjoy our live streams, but 
I'll, I'll be able to at least put intermittent content, you know, during the week. I went heavy on that one with the glitter. Okay. So. I want to kind of anchor that there. And then I'm going to kind of reverse anchor that there. And I like that. I like that a lot. So let's go with that. Yes, I'll be gaining a sun and a craft room. And it's super cool. And this is why I told my daughter that you can't escape life no matter what you do. Because it's funny how, you know, when I first started crafting and all of the stuff that I started doing, you know, obviously you have to accumulate so much stuff that I was driving them crazy. I was driving my husband crazy. I was driving my, my children crazy. Um, the constant packages arriving, the constantly trying to figure out where I'm going to put this, where I'm going to put this. I had them going nuts, right? And it just so happens that she ends up finding the one guy <laughs> that's also an artist. As I was saying, you can't escape it. You can't escape it, my friend. You cannot escape it, no matter what you do. So now he um he does the most beautiful drawings. Like he's really gifted um with that pencil. Let me tell you, he's really gifted. He draws beautiful, draws way better than I do. Um, and he's very he, um he can do really really realistic type of drawings as well as um very cartoonish types. He's you know he's amazing. If you guys see like graffiti artists and stuff like that, and they do like those beautiful murals and things like that, he's not a graffiti artist, but he does. He has that aesthetic, that style. Um, and he wants to be a tattoo artist. So I told him, I'm like, you could do it. You have the skill for it. So I've been trying to encourage him to like open up his own YouTube channel so that he can start sharing like his drawings and things like that. But he's a little shy. I think you guys picked that up if you saw the video of him and Sasson. He's a little shy. He's a, good, he's a good kid. I'm very happy. Um, my daughter did a good choice. She made a good choice with him. He's very respectful. He's very much about the family and about the home. You got to love that. Um, so I've been trying to encourage him. You know, I've given him my markers. I've given him like a whole bunch of stuff just to kind of get him there. I made him a sketchbook because he, when he comes over here, sometimes he doesn't bring all of his stuff with him. So like, I, you know, I have stuff here galore. <laughs> so I'm like, here, come on in. Come into my crafty shop. What would you like today? <laughs> so yeah, that's super cool, you know? It's super cool. And my daughter, you know, she got a good one. She got a good one and he likes to paint. So it's like he was meant to be. Like I told that song, I know eventually you, you was going to go into it because... I just have too much art stuff everywhere. <laughs> I have too much art stuff everywhere. Okay, so oh no, stay anchored, stay anchored, my friend. All right, so we're gonna do that. This is gonna kind of look like that. And again, you can always adjust the branches. You can cut little bits here and add little bits here and there. Like you have enough branches here that you can cut them apart and kind of do um, what you would like to do with them. I think. What I'm going to do is, where's my bird? My bird is right here. I have a bird that I'm going to put right there, but I have to distress him real quick. I'm just going to distress him with the blue. Distress him with the blue. Ooh, distress him with the blue. Because like, I know that the lives take a long time. I know I'm all over the place with the conversation. I know that the lives take a long time. Um, you know, when you're watching it, it's like, okay, cool, because you're here. You know, time kind of goes fast because you're here and you're engaging. But for people that have to watch it afterwards, they look at that timing and they're like, damn, bro. Because <laughs> I know I do the same thing, so I don't blame them. Um, yeah, I should be able to shrink the branches too. I should be able to shrink the branches. I don't know how small I can make them, but I can definitely try to make it a little bit smaller. It could be some kind of echo, and I'm going to have to hear this video again to find out what this toilet situation is. Because <laughs> you're not the first person that tells me that. Um, a friend of mine before told me the same thing. She's like, uh, did your toilet just flush? And I was like, nah, I don't know. I don't think so. Like, I'm over here. And the toilet is so far that you wouldn't you wouldn't hear it flush if it did. 
All right, so I think I'm gonna do this right here. So the, um, do I want to put him there? Where do I want him? I kind of want him right there, on the top. So let me put this one down here on the bottom. And I got the little hearts, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with the little hearts so that they don't go to waste. I'm gonna go ahead and um, glue the paper on there. Doesn't that look cute? I think so. And we have so much stuff to do, but hopefully I'll have enough time. Imagine, that would be crazy if I could get my neighbor's toilet flush every time. <laughs> I'll be like, okay, baby, it's time to move. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we wanted to add some of that pretty um, flower paper back in here, right? That was what we said. That's this pretty paper right here. Let me see which one fits where. Okay, so this is the way I want to do it. So let's do that. Let clean that. I always use like junk um, clothes and stuff like that to turn them into rags. Instead of creating more um, stuff to buy all the time, I try to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Right? And we have the other hearts. Where's the other heart? Right here. We have the other heart. This way. And, this way. And, this way. and I don't think I'm going to sink them straight in. I think I'm going to kind of pop them out a little bit so that they have a little bit of dimension on them. So it's this way. That's the way it's going to go. Let's see if I find another piece. that I can actually fit in. All right. We got it, we got it. I don't know if it's gonna capture any of the actual flowers in them, but it should capture a little bit. Look at my desk. It's <laughs> so messy. Oh, do you have those too? No, but um, what I've been thinking about doing is um, copying down, like um, you know, scanning in some images of of the birds, like different kinds of birds, like realistic looking birds, because I I like I prefer the more realistic to the more cartoony type. So I like um, you know, I like them for them to look kind of real. So I'm gonna I think what I'm gonna do. It's like start scanning some in and then I can always um, cut the chipboard shape out and then glue them on top and then sell like little chipboard ephemera packs that way. But I want to gather more stuff. I want to gather more like butterflies and more things. So again, you know, the store is going to be evolving um, because as our needs change and as we end up needing this or needing that, um, then more things are going to be created to kind of meet those needs. So we're going to always be in constant growth. God willing. So more of like the realistic type, um, you know, things that God made. As opposed to like cartoony or designed ones. I might design my own versions of birds, but if I do, you guys know that it's going to be like, it's, it's going to look like a bird, but it's not going to look like a bird. <laughs> it's going to be something a little different because it's going to, it has to fit into the theme of either um, the Jupiter or one of the other collections. So it'll be uh, a little bit more with a little bit more imagination attached. But I do want to be able to add like little birds and stuff like that. So if I do, um, 
if I do do that one, I do that. I'll definitely share that with you guys and let you know that I have them available. I just have to start collecting them. And like these birds that I'm using today, I didn't even bother to, um, you know, to scan them in. I should have scanned them in. But I did it. Okay. I scanned in the, the cobblestone. I didn't well, I didn't scan it. I just made copies of it. Actually, I don't I don't think I saved it. Um I have some pop-up some pop-up uh foam tape, right? Somewhere here. I see it. I see it, I see it, I see it. Let me just kind of um, put that in there. And at this time, I don't know which one belongs where, but it don't matter. I'm going to put that right up there. And then we'll get on our grungy tag. Add to that. And I could totally make them stand out even more by you know double layering it, but I think this one goes on this side. Boy, this sticks. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it alone. This really sticks when you put it down. Wow. Let's put that little bit back in there because this is good stuff. <laughs> this is the good stuff, you guys. We gotta save that. Okay, so I think for the most part, I think I like uh, how this kind of came out. I'll go ahead and just add uh, some glitter here and there. Like I said, nothing too too crazy. I didn't go too too ham with it. Um, well, we're always going to be doing some kind of tag here and there, so let me just. Look at all that paint and the bottle of my, my brush. We're always going to be doing some kind of tag here and there, as well as working on our chipboard journals. We're going to always be doing one of these um, crafts, one way or the other. So we'll definitely uh, continue to see other techniques and other ways of uh, creating them and layering them, so on and so forth. But again, this is going to be kind of like the, the kit that we're going to be, that I'm going to be making um, for some of these shape tags. They're all going to be different for the most part because all the tags have different shapes to them. And I want to give you guys alternate, so I'm going to be creating different toppers and stuff that can go on them. And I really love it. I think it needs a sentiment. I think it does. So let me pull a sentiment out, and then we're going to finish up the other tag, because I'm almost done with the other tag, believe it or not. The other tag doesn't have much to go. Um, leave a little sparkle everywhere you go, but I think... Maybe I could cut it up and use it that way. Leave a little sparkle everywhere you go. Wherever you go, not everywhere, wherever you go. Right? I'm going to glue this in place probably later on. So right now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next tag. So this is kind of how it came out. Leave a little, my hands are mucky. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And we've got the collaging and the new layers um, and the branches and everything. And I think it came out super cute overall. This is going to look really nice hung up on a wall. I got to let it dry thoroughly first. But I have pictures up on the social media once it's all dry so that you guys can see more in depth of what it looks like. Hello, Anastasia. You want a small one of the tags or of the branches? I have three sizes available right now um, for the tags themselves. Again, I haven't added the toppers. Um, I have to add that, you know, in there. So I'm going to try to see if I can add it in. Maybe today or tomorrow. I'm going to add these probably somewhere between that or if I can't do it from here to then then I'll probably do it. Most likely it will be getting done for when I do the um the release for the new stencil. 
And in the new stencils, we're gonna have the tree. Um, this is gonna be one of the ones, the ones that I used today on um, this tag here. So we're gonna have the tree uh, stencil and I have a few other ones that I am working on right now. I gotta put this kind of gingerly. But I'm gonna have a whole wall of tags by the time I'm done. <laughs> by the time that I'm done. So to this here, what we've done already, we've done some collaging, we've added some paper in the background. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, splashing color, adding different stuff to this. I'm gonna start splashing some color, drying some stuff. Um, the tree, I think I'm gonna go make, uh, metallic with that tree because it's just gonna be kind of like an embellishment or a decoration for the page itself. I'm not gonna go too, too crazy. Um, with adding a whole bunch of stuff, the focal point for this is going to be this girl right here, I think. So I'm probably gonna add her in there somewhere. Let me put it, put that over there. And we have some cobblestones here that I want to add into this picture. And we'll have some lightning kind of happening. Some lightning, this is the same branches. You can use them as lightning. Let me turn them around. I didn't do too much of a cleanup process at least because I knew that I was gonna be using them for my own mixed media. Usually I take the time, every time, and I clean around you guys' um, I clean around everything that I create just to make sure that you guys get as much of a pristine product as possible. Again, you guys know that I am creating these at home using the same machines that most of us are using already. So I can put this away because I can actually use now some black. So let me go find some black. And I think he hid it from me. So let's see. <laughs> let's see. No, I found it. Uh, my poor baby. He didn't hide it from me. He would never do that. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and put that up there. Uh, I'm going to use this, continue to use the same paper. Like this is what we got in the background. Continue to use the same paper for the rest of this. I'm going to go ahead and grab my brush and I'm going to start distressing uh, the sides of this. And it already has paint and we've got some stenciling that we did on this earlier. I'm going to pick a lot of that up with um, some blue metallic paint. Again, I want this to be kind of dark because we're supposed to be having some kind of a night sky. So I'm just going to bring this kind of like across everywhere. And kind of make it look like, um, you know how when it rains, you kind of get that that slight kind of um, reflection. So I'm kind of streaking this out so that it creates kind of like a reflection a little bit, or at least it looks like a little bit of a reflection. And I'll do that. Okay, this is not the lid for that. Um, we're going to go ahead and distress some of these little rocks. I'm going to figure out which ones I actually want here. And you could tell these are magazine cutouts because they still have they have grass and all kinds of stuff all over the place. All right, so just gonna do that. So this real quick, and just kind of distress the edges just a, just a little bit, and start kind of layering these things in place. Kind of like that. I'm not gonna put them everywhere, but just in some places. Um, okay. Thank you, Julia. Hi, Carmen. Oh, thank you, Anastasia. That's gonna be one of the new um, stencil releases. Is gonna be added to the store. 
right now um that's the first one that i'm, I'm test driving you might see more in the next couple days that I test drive them. I like to test drive them with you guys here. I know that I could very easily do all of that testing behind the scenes and, you know, not show my faults, not show all of the, you know, all of the stuff that might be wrong with it. But I'd rather show you guys or do it here and do it live because that way you also get to see how much of a process it is for all the things that, you know, we end up creating and the things that are, I'm adding and all of that stuff. Plus I get to hear your feedback. Maybe you guys might suggest add this or add that. Um, and I always do appreciate it because at the end of the day, you guys are going to be the ones buying it. So I would love to be able to make it more, to include more of the things that you also like. And so this is done. Okay. With this, I think I'm going to have to use the hot glue gun because those... It's a pretty chunky chunky. Where is my hot glue? Oh, Turn that off. While that's turning on, I'm going to go ahead and um, start working on um, the lightning. So this is the side. Let me just. Where's my blade? Where's my blade? I also have some metallic stuff here, but I don't really want to get a chance to use it. Actually, this is supposed to be. Yeah, it's actually for this one. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it or not, but we'll see. I've got some little chunky bits. What did I do with my blade? I don't know. I guess they're just saying, move on, Carmen. Don't worry about the blade. So I'm not going to. I appreciate you being part of the journey, Cindy. I really do. I think um, we all grow together and I think we all learn from each other. And you guys help me out so much. Like you don't even understand how much you guys assist me with the whole, um, you know, with the whole process. Cause sometimes I could be a little bit out there, you know? Sometimes I could go too far out. <laughs> I could go too far out. But you guys have a way of keeping me grounded, which is awesome. And I do greatly appreciate it. Okay. So, you guys know I'm a wild child by nature. <laughs> Not naughty by nature, but a wild child by nature. So I'm just going to do this. And I'm gonna um, do the same thing with the with the silver. I'm gonna add some of that silver in there. And what I'm applying is the texture paint by Deco Art, which is a paint that you can you can use with a spatula. You can use on your stencils with your stencils. It's very nice and thick. But I'm using it with a sponge today because it also dries very glossy, which allows me to kind of like spray different things on it and it'll have like a different effect on them. I'm gonna be cutting some of these pieces up. So now that we've got that, that way I don't have to dry, dry, dry again. I'm just gonna go ahead and add my silver paint to that. And this is called Silver Moon. It's Galaxy Glitter by Zeppo Art. And I'm gonna just splash this on like I did previously. Now my chipboards are not completely, completely white. You can still see some of the um, brown in there, but that's okay because I'm gonna add other colors of glitter to this um, and kind of, uh, you know, make the lightning look like it's striking in multiple colors kind of. Who's group wheels? <laughs> Who's group wheels? Is that somebody? 
Let me tell you, Ada told Ada suggested to me about circles. She's like, um, can you make some circles for me? I'm like, yeah, sure. Once she got me on that circle train, let me tell you, <laughs> I came out with circles, bubbles, stencils, this, that, like everything with bubbles came out. So this is why I say at the end of the day, I appreciate it because sometimes, you know, you can get stuck. I know I get stuck. I mean, creativity can only be for like for so long. Like you always need something to feed that creativity one way or the other. So this is like, yes, I made a whole bunch of this, that, and the third. <laughs> But it all worked out. It all worked out because I love them. I love them. Love me some bubbles. I'm hoping to be able to upgrade the machine by the time of the year is up. Hopefully, God willing. But I want it to pay for itself. So that's why I haven't bought it yet. I hope that once I'm able to upgrade the machine, that I can not only work on thicker materials for you guys, but I can also create more intricate designs because I do have them. I just can't cut them right on chipboard. I can cut them properly on other stuff, but I can't cut them properly on chipboard. I don't need them on paper because I don't really create on paper like that. I need them on chipboard because I need them for canvases, for altered projects. Um, I need it for that. I need it to be able to withhold, you know, liquids and mediums and sprays and all of that good stuff. Paper will crumble. Um, so... Hopefully, that's a goal for me that I'll be able to accomplish by the time the year is out. All right, let me grab another color. Okay, that's how we Okay, yep, that's how we Okay. <laughs> I'm glad. Mm -mm -mm. He laughs every time I tell him, I'm like, I'm live. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, my phone is so messed up, you guys. Like, I have to replace this so bad. I write one word and it writes 15 other different words that have nothing to do nor have the letters that I use in the first word. I don't know what the hell's going on. Anywho, so I'm going to use a little bit of this yellow as well, some gold and some silver, right? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? And I'm so happy to see that more people are embracing fantasy art now. Even though I think to a certain extent most of the art is fantasy anyways, but um, I'm so happy to see that like it's people are more more people are embracing the whole fantasy concept of art and creating um, you know things that are not so ordinary. So I just think the ordinary gets kind of boring after a while. And I, I mean that's just me. Some people, you know. They live and die by the ordinary, but I need some excitement. I need a little bit of hot sauce every now and then with my chicken, you know? <laughs> a little something, something every now and then, you know? A little something different. And speaking of hot sauces, oh my God. That song is going to have some information for you guys real soon on what he's going to be doing on his channel. And I'm going to have to be on the phone. Like, or the phone on standby, just in case, because, oh, they're on some daredevil stuff. I, I ain't going to do it. You wanted me to do it? I said, nope, nope, nope. Some things I'm very brave. For other things, I'm crazy chicken. <laughs> like, no, no, no. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So I have my lightning. I didn't do the whole entire branch. Because I don't need the whole entire branch. I just need the parts that kind of branch off. Um, so I'm going to dry that. And he was having so much fun yesterday, too. He hasn't been a part of my live in a while because, you know, I do it in the day now. So he was super excited. Yes, he's like, yeah, I get to be a part of your live today. And then they cut it short. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I was like, what happened with the wheels? You made me think about the circles. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, it's a fun adventure. And I love creating with you guys, honestly. I really do. 
It makes me feel less crazy. <laughs> Yes. You guys are definitely an important part of the car. Let me tell you. <laughs> You're definitely an important part of the car. That's for sure. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So let's see how this is going to work out, you guys. It's not all the way dry yet. So let's just put this to the side while we keep working on what we gotta keep working here. And hopefully by the time that I go grab it again, it'll be dry, so we don't waste too much time. So, what are we gonna do with this? This needs something. What does it need? Well, it needs these first. So let's go ahead and try to glue these on. Hopefully, my glue is working itself. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one down. And I'm only gonna glue a piece of it so that I can keep adding more to them as I need. This one I think I want it to be part of something like that. So that's what we're gonna do. I did realize that I wanted to make cobblestone like actual pieces of, um, you know, actual shape like cobblestone pieces. So I think that's something that I'm gonna definitely do because we can use them in many different ways. We can use them for the ground. We can use them on a wall. We can use them so many different, um, so many different ways. And I want to give them like all like all these little wonky shapes, kind of like how these um, stones tend to have. So I think that'll do it for me. Okay. And let's see what I have here. I don't know. I don't know. These are all like my little beads and stuff. Um, they don't really spark the inspiration. They really don't. Okay. Let's see. Let's add some color to this. These are my reconstituted waxes. See, still working, still working. And the lid is cracked, okay? And it's still, it's still holding itself there. Whatever. This is the stencil that I stenciled through it. This is my um, pyramid scan, um, stencil. So I'm going to add a little bit of this color, and I'm going to go in there and grab another color and see. Um, this tree is already kind of gray, but we're going to give it some life and give it some color now. This is going to be the lightning tree. Because when love strikes, it strikes quick, just like lightning, right? Clouds, too. Mm -hmm. It kind of could look like, it can kind of look like clouds, too. But once I add, um, what should I call it? With the clouds for this one, I don't necessarily know how I'm gonna do the clouds for this one. I'm gonna ball with some blue. Some blue in there. That. 
I learned a lot while reconstituting those um those waxes. Let me tell you, I learned a lot about those waxes while making them. They're, they're not all made equally. Some of them, when you reconstitute it in the same way, um, you'll get a grainier. You can still use it. Like this one is a little bit more grainier, even though it's the same exact process. Um, meanwhile, the other one is a lot smoother. Some of the other ones are a lot smoother. So the recipe is not equal for all of the colors. So if it comes out a little bit grainy, don't think that you've messed it up. You can still totally use it. Just be aware that it's the recipe, you know, it's the, it's how they, the ingredients for how they did it. That's Javi letting me know, hey, meet me here at such and such time. Just cutting all these little excess bits that I no longer need. Shadow there, I guess. Pick it up. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, make cloud reports. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think by the time I'm done, I'm gonna have a little bit of everything under the sun, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um I don't think that the creativity or the or the the wanting to create and design ever stops. Like everything is like, yeah, we need one of those. Yeah, we need one of those. Yeah, we need one of those. Um, let me see, what other color? I think I can start. Um, maybe, 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 maybe. Where's my? Not this one. I don't want this one. Um, well, let me keep adding some of these splashes here for now, and then I'm gonna add more of the other stuff. I'm gonna spray a little bit of black on here as well. And remember, this is my DIY black, so it's not necessarily made um, the same way. It has a different um, kind of component to it. So where's my dark blue one? Wow, well, let's do this. And then some white, right? I like that. Let's dry it. Then we'll add some glitter over that, or maybe now we'll see how the um the the things look. Give it that nice sky kind of look. And kind of make some makeshift clouds while we're at it. Let me add a little bit more white in there. A little makeshift clouds. And you see it holds really well. This is just one chipboard, um, one sheet. So I love this chipboard so much. I 
I'm thinking that I should make the tree um, like red or something. Just to make, give it like a pop of color. So let me see what I find here. I don't know if I can constitute my red or not. I did, I did. I have such a little bit of it, so. Here goes nothing. Just a little bit of color here and there, I guess. I'm not trying to rub it down too, too tightly. So you probably won't get to see too much of what the tree is for what the tree is, but I'll probably go into it afterwards and start kind of outlining it a little bit. Kind of like what I did with my octopus. Um, that color right there. Just to kind of bring it out just a smidge. Just a smidge. I don't need it to be brought out too too much. Um maybe a little bit of this fusion. Now that it's wet, it's gonna obviously work a lot better because of the cardboard and I mean the, the areas that I'm trying to add the color into, they're already wet, so they'll just pick it right off my finger. And then here I'm gonna add the picture of the girl, so I'm not gonna worry too, too much about that. Just to give it some kind of something, something or the other. Let's dry that, I'm gonna cut those little bits out right now. Uh, my my um, watching my color should be ready to go. My lightning should be just about ready to go. So we're gonna add those in there. One way or the other, they're gonna go in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so now I'm going to grab this, which I said this was going to be like the focal point. And I'm going to use the playing cards too, I think. Because I might as well, right? Bye, Ada. No problem. Pray for us. We need it. We need it. So I'm gonna do this, and then I'm almost gonna be done, you guys. Um, I've been here since 10 in the morning, so quite some time. So, like this. The number four. I would have had these ready, but I just um put these. Last one. Let's see. I like it better on its own. I like it better on its own. Art doesn't need to make sense. That's what makes art art. You can just feel free to do whatever you like. I think two fit, it doesn't need the six. 
Um, so we're going to go ahead and glue that in. And distress that real quickly. And we're going to glue in our um, watch my colors and then we'll be done. And then we shall be done. Where is this? Like I said, I wasn't going to go too, too ham with them because I was doing two of them at the same time. Usually I add way more details and way more things into them when I'm just working on, you know, one project at a time. But I wanted to try the topper out and I knew I wanted to work on tags. So I was like, you know what, let me try both and just see how it kind of all goes. But I think I didn't do too, too bad overall. I was able to mostly complete both of them, which is a rarity. Usually I need certain things to be done later, but I got most of it done now, which is cool. Let me get my little foam stickers that I just used. Where did I put it? Oh, okay. Story of my life, you guys. I never know where I put stuff once I put stuff down. Ugh. Okay. You know what? Let's just do it this way. Oh no, I ended up getting that side dirty, so I'm gonna put the tin on top. And the four under so I can cover that dirty spot that I did on it. I messed it up. And it makes no sense at all. But it works, right? It works. And that's what creativity is. It makes no sense at all, but it works. <laughs> right? So we're going to do that. Uh, what do I have here that I can... Right there somehow. Okay. Don't know if any of these little bits will work. I don't think so. I don't know like those for that. Like I think it looks nice, but I don't think um it looks all the way nice the way I would want it to. So I think well maybe this. Maybe this. Maybe I can use this. I like that. I'm not even going to do anything to it, I don't think. So, while they were doing that, let's go ahead and get our um, trimmed up.
I think that'll work, right? I think that that will work. Yeah, I think that that'll work. So, once this is glued in, Sorry, I'm a little quiet, you guys. We're on crunch time right now. And hopefully you found yourself inspired and full of ideas, crafty ideas that you're ready to implement and have fun with. That is always the goal here at Elemental Design. That is always the goal with HappyCrafts.com. A little bit of this and a little bit of that go a long, long way, my friends. All right, obviously I'm gonna cut all those little bits off and our tag will be done. And I think it came out absolutely gorgeous. Again, I wanna remind you all that if you are um, a shopper of happydaycrafts.com and you would love to share your projects with me, I would love to see them regardless if it's a video or a picture. And if you are so inclined to do so, allow me permission to share them. I am going to be creating a gallery that I'm going to be sharing all of um, the projects and also sharing, you know, your channels, your links, whatever you would like to share uh, there so that other people can go and see your process. If you're sharing your process or, um, you know, all of that good stuff. So I do encourage you to do that. I would love to um, give you back for what you're, you know, what you're giving me as well which is you sharing your your art with me, which is so amazing, and I love it so, so much. And I'm going to go ahead and add a sentiment to this as well, and then we're going to call this a day. And let's see. Creativity takes courage. That's what I'm going to use for the sentiment for this because I believe uh, that to be very, very true. And that doesn't match, so I'm going to use that. And we're just going to place it here. Creativity takes courage. Because that's what we do every time we pick up a brush. We find ourselves courageous. We find ourselves ready to create what it is that we like to create over everything. So you guys, these are the tags that we created today. I want to thank you all so, so very much for spending this time with me. We created this beautiful, I think it's beautiful, um, this birdhouse. I love how it came out. I love the layers. I think you can do so many things with this. There's so many places that you can tuck things through and tuck, you know, all of that good stuff. I do have to glue my sentiments on. I didn't do that. Um, but I think it came out super cute. The birdies are not part of the kit, will not be part of the kit, but I might go ahead. I do have some bird dyes that I might be able to go ahead and cut out some birds and add them into the kit. Um, in the meanwhile, so we'll see how that goes out. No promises though. You guys have to see how it works out first. And then this is the grungier kind of tag. So we have a little bit of shabby, a little bit of grunge. I do kind of have to trim that little piece right off. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Um, but yes, you guys, I want to thank you all so much for being here with me today. As always, it's been amazing, amazing, amazing. 
I will share these on my social media so that you guys can see. And um, I will also be adding these to the gallery once I get the galleries open, which is another reason why I'm doing a lot of these, uh, you know, share projects type of things with you all. Thank you all so much. Be blessed. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Okay. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.